we could think of, all right, let's go to happier things. Look, I thought this was hysterical because speaking of, I mean, this is somebody who really has, this is probably the biggest, I've been really wrong about this. I thought that Harris was an extremely strong contender for the center right lane. And, you know, obviously I have any number of major substantive problems with her from the fact that, I mean, actually, even in this thing, before she loads up this ridiculous attack, she talks about a two-tier justice system. This is the woman who put truant mothers in jail and let Steve Mnuchin walk. That was a like, two-tier justice system. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I guess you would be pretty familiar with that. But she, she's, uh, she's goofy. Like, that's the only word. It's so weird because when she first came out, I said, you know what? You know, she's polished, she's smart, like she's got a lot of these attributes. She's charisma. She's got a certain charisma if you're into sociopaths. Uh, who's which, not? Which I am, of course, <laughs> particularly, uh, yeah, no, I'm totally, I've, I've, well, believe me, I've dealt with Kamala Harris. Uh, <laughs> but, Did she drop your yeah. charges? <laughs> no, you no. Got, you got papered. To the fullest. Uh, <laughs> but check this out. I mean, this, and also, uh, it is really funny uh, to catch if you look at Warren's body language, it's very funny. Argument he's making, but I, I do want to also say this. What we're talking about is a grave in, injustice when rules apply to some, but not equally to all. And in particular, when the rules that apply to the powerless don't apply to the powerful. Pause and so, it. Senator Warren, I, I just have to say, I'm watching this last night and two things are going through my mind. One is, is this really what you want to say, Steve Mnuchin, non-prosecutor? And then the second part of me, as a, as a strong Sanders advocate, is like, great. Get some of those percentage points back. What do you got in store? Grave injustice. Let's like see. I was like... She, grave injustice. She's setting up something big here. That's what this I'm saying, Ryan Grimm. Grave injustice. Exactly. I was like, whoa. I, I literally thought... Because, you know, because look, Joe Biden has attacked her policing record. I'm like... Is she going to talk about Elizabeth Warren's asbestos work? Like, what oh, is the, she going to do here? Stuff. The Dow yeah. Chemical <laughs> stuff? Like, I mean, anything could happen. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's get four points back from Warren. Bernie's having a great night. Let's take a chunk out of Warren. The great All right, stuff? Harris, go for it. I believe in you. The rules that apply to the powerless don't apply to the powerful. <laughs> and so... Senator Warren, I just want to say that I was surprised to hear that you did not agree with me that on this subject of what should be the rules around corporate responsibility for these big tech companies, when I called on Twitter to suspend Donald Trump's uh, <laughs> account, that smile. you did not Look agree, at and I, I would urge you to join me, because here we have Donald Trump, who has 65 million Twitter followers. And is using that platform as the president of the United States to openly intimidate witnesses, to threaten witnesses, to obstruct She's justice. still smirking. And he and his account should be taken down. We saw in El Paso that that shooter in his manifesto was informed by how Donald Trump uses that platform. And like not only his Twitter platform. Yeah, like I was going to say. It's well, probably a bit broader. Than I mean, we don't even need to play the rest of it. That's because just. That's the yeah. funny thing. She's she she's identified this grave injustice and now she's putting her on the spot are you going to condemn this grave injustice and then she veers off into another thing about el paso and some other stuff <laughs> and so warren's just like eventually she stops working she's just like okay tell me when you're done so do the, the twitter get back to the twitter thing well and it was funny warren's response wasn't even that amazing but it's like when you play like tennis with somebody who has like an incredibly hacky game and you just can't even get like the rhythm of the story you're like okay i don't really know what we're doing here yeah i guess i'll let me try to make a point about campaign funding i guess you're harassing me about trump's twitter account <laughs> but what <laughs> That's <laughs> so bad. I, it would have been great if Warren would have uh, taken her seriously, like, but in a mocking way. Like, oh, totally. What about at POTUS, Kamala? <laughs> <laughs> like, he has not actually abused the terms of service right. with the verified at POTUS so account. So you need to look at the loopholes. You need to get serious. Yeah. This and presidential is... races are about serious. <laughs> See, ter terms of service need big structural change. <laughs> Not just these one-off <laughs> solutions. Uh, but look, what, wouldn't he be able to tweet from POTUS? Why not? He's, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's I'm still pretty POTUS. pretty sure he could, he is, well, that, that was actually the, the very, I also love this, like, 
the best thing that Donald Trump, I'm sorry, that uh, his Twitter provides also a lot of yeah, laughs and on. entertainment for people. Like Also, want, also it, counts of the indictment. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.